what is happening traders today i have a list of some special coins guys <laughs> these coins are ieo coins from the binance days guys the good old days from binance when they used to conduct all the ieos and every single coin that used to get listed from the binance ieo used to go up a 10x guys in, in literally a week time or something like that so these coins are going to be from march 2019 i mean they came into fruition they came into existence um uh, 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 I, i guess around the march of 2019 so guys what are these coins doing right now and what what are these coins up to in the coming days and the months let's go ahead and jump out of the charts right off guys the first and the foremost first candidate in front of you is fetch fetch.ai fetch btc now guys these people are a real they are real research organization right i mean i guess they are from cambridge or some university they are quite heavily incentivized in, in terms of their research products and guys uh, a lot of fundamental analysis that i personally have to do about this project but this certainly is one of the long term holdings you can have for this entire bull market guys one of the coin which could not really disappoint you guys now all right if 30% move is going to disappoint you 30% downside move is going to disappoint you then probably crypto is not the space for you even for investing purposes all right guys that is why you don't jump on with all of your savings into these shit coins guys because they will go down 30% 40% as a regular part of their ebb and flow right all right so just jumping onto the charts right of guys this is a fucking good looking bull trend as most of the binance ieo coins are doing extremely exceptionally good it's all seasonality guys it's all seasonality so are these coins topping out or not let's just try to find out guys the first fibonacci areas of interest i'm going to lay out for you guys is beginning from the ieo coin uh, uh, sorry beginning from the ieo price all the way at the capitulation the covid capitulation where are we standing at right now guys this one is currently flirting with the 1.600 extension to the t guys perfection right here um, in, in in terms of your in terms of a blue sky breakout right above the 1.1 extension um, at the 50 cents now guys i do have my fonts changed in the chart layout do you like this chart layout Hit that like if you do like this chart layout i was just messing around with the charts because well the majors are really boring these days guys just just a sideways chop generally in the market right so these coins are going to be certainly moving around when most of the major cryptocurrencies are really not doing much right so guys the long term projection the 1.600 extension is hit all right it just got hit on the previous three day candle that means that we could be looking at some further consolidation on fetch uh, on these level guys now this is something which could happen you could squeeze around here for a for for a long one of time to be honest with you until bitcoin resolves its range or maybe these cryptos they start doing exceptionally good against the btc pair then we can talk about some immediate breakout of this particular range right here of the 1.618 extension now guys if you do take down 1.618 extension there is not much stopping until 2.618 at 1.25 right 1.25 being a good psychological area of profit taking as well guys your ultimate target from the all time high breakout could be aligning somewhere with the 10.764 extension now that's guys every single time i speak of these numbers they are certainly far fetched but these are your ultimate bull market targets right so as far as you are holding above the all time high the 1.1 extension at 50 cents fetch is on its way towards the 10.764 extension like a lot of cryptocurrencies are doing these days guys so from an investment perspective certainly 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 doing a good job this asset right here which is quite significantly up to be honest with you guys this uh, ever since the covid dump right here fetch is up 7 8000 percent guys this is insane and the single leg up move after this consolidation right here is a 2000 percent upside move guys now certainly any single leg to the upside with a 2000 percent returns now certainly you could be looking at some consolidation to sideways um, uh, kind of price action for a prolonged period guys so that's why the area of interest the key area of interest if you're really invested into fetch is going to be these levels guys the previous all time highs it's just it, it, it it's as clear as it can get to be honest with you so this is your risk management area if you want to be staying long on this one for for a better part of time i guess guys the, these lines these green lines are not really visible let me just go ahead and make them white <laughs> all right so this is this is this is what is probably going to happen on fetch ai onto the macro time frame guys so if i simply go ahead and I take this area of reaccumulation as your fibonacci area of interest let's see where the targets are going to be derived at now this one is hovering around the 4.236 extension aligning with this 1.618 extension out of the entire uh, well entire 3 year long accumulation as i would like to say and so, so so ultimately this calls for a fact that these regions on fetch they do mean that it's going to get into some kind of some kind of reaccumulation to a consolidation phase some completely no hurries and no worries on this particular asset right here jumping onto the small time frames guys this one took out this 4 hour candle took out the previous all time high but that does that means going to simply moon from these regions no 
quite not much guys as this is a series of rejections coming from the all time high which means weakness which means sellers are stepping into the market as we breach the all time highs again and again right so this must be this must be showing some sort of divergence i do believe between this point and this yeah you certainly do have some divergence but the easier part of this move has already been played out in terms of intraday time frame trading for this one as this was a 20% down move guys for any trader 20% down move is certainly interesting guys all right i have a interesting fact for you the richest trader to stay alive was a 20% APY trade, right? Like he used to, he used to uh, target for twenty percent returns every single year, and he did that for thirty years, guys. He, I don't, I, I, I can't quite recall the name, guys. So he, he's, he's the most successful and the most profitable trader ever to exist. That's why I keep on rambling on the fact that trading is all about patience, guys. All about patience. So Fetch could be testing your patience if you're not clearing these areas, guys. So I, I guess it's mostly going to be determined by the higher term time frames. You do want to be looking at some three-day candles closing above this previous rejection right here at the 1.600 extension around the well, let's just say 75 cents, guys. 75 cents. If you do take down 75 cents on a three-day closing basis there's not much stopping this trend this is certainly to the upside now guys trend is going to be your friend and as far as these price action is to the upside you're going to be having a bullish bias in terms of trading this asset even in the short time frame guys had you been shorting this here i mean well if you if, if you had shorted this here well, i mean you would be looking at some key areas of profit taking interest alongside the 55 moving average now guys i do have the 55 moving average laid out because the market is really getting into choppy environment so guys what generally happens is that when the btc price action is unable to break above uh, any any key range in this case we have 60000 uh, showing up as a real problem in uh, to be honest in the short time frame guys btc is just wanting to consolidate wanting to test some key moving averages so what will other crypto assets do they will simply head sideways most likely right most likely they'll head sideways but if the btc pair on these assets they start flipping bullish then nothing can stop them so i'm going to be checking out some fed against btc as well real quick as this is this is one of the thing that you want to be looking at in terms of trading fetch even for the short time frame what are you doing right now you are simply aligning with this area of resistance right here which was your previous dump from the august 2019 zone sorry august 2020 zones guys this is a simple curling action right here what could we expect in the midterm price action for this kind of this sort of behavior guys if you're challenging the all-time highs with such amount of conviction that means that you can certainly you will certainly have an argument that you're going to be taking down this one guys i'll be talking about some price action on harmony as well one one against btc that took down these kind of areas like a charm guys like a fucking real king so i'll be getting on to that real quick but what could you expect in FET BTC in the coming days and the months, guys? It could be a simple cup and handle kind of formation, formulation like this for a further continuation move to the upside like that, right? So what are you looking at right here? You're looking at, well, a successful cup formulation right here. And, and well, this could be simply, this could simply be carried on forward if you are closing above these price points on higher time frame on daily or three day closures right if you do that then there is not much stopping this asset to go towards the upside and the fibonacci areas of interest for this price action if you do take the candle closes right here it's going to be aligning with the 1.600 uh, extension with aligning perfectly with the 2000 doshi level guys quite a rounded figure and from these price points this is going to be 70 percent move towards the upside right 70 percent move towards the upside on btc pair means that the usd pair will have some good further upside targets somewhere around i guess uh one dollar i guess one dollar or something like that let's just check it out fet usdt um 70 percent move from these currents um, from these current price points could lead us to 7.600 extension at 1.2 guys yeah 1.2 dollar level right but for that to happen you have to start closing your daily candles at least guys i didn't check out the daily on fat usdt you have to close the daily above at least this all-time high candle closure now this one did attempt to close this one above the, uh, above the previous all-time high closure but fell little bit short of it does that mean it's a death sentence nope it just means that it wants to consolidate for a little longer before we start closing candles below this zone right here uh, and then we attempt for another move towards the upside of the seven or six hundred extension guys that would be aligning with that would be aligning perfectly with the btc pair as well so guys i guess the targets on fed btc fed usd are pretty uh, pretty clear now these assets remember these assets are trending guys in crypto markets if you are looking at them if you're looking at these assets as a trader 
you want to be trading with the trend and certainly if any other asset if any crypto asset is in a bear trend that does not mean the entire fucking market is going to be in a bear trend right there are going to be assets which are certainly performing outperforming uh, other assets while while those other assets they are in bearish mode these things can be in completely fucking bull tart mode right this one fed certainly being one of those bull tarts guys next on the list we have seller now seller doing something exactly like what fed is guys these binance coins uh, binance io coins to, from 2019 they're going to be doing exactly they're going to be doing they're going to be showing up to the same price action to be honest with you right almost the same almost the same how the fibonacci area of interest are going to be certainly different as if we do take down this entire area of fibonacci um, uh, accumulation i would say for guys these are your macro accumulation generational accumulation bottoms on these projects guys seller fed dusk um and even harmony guys these projects are excellent these projects do have working product and so much happening in their ecosystem as well so certainly you could be looking at some long time price action long term gains as well um uh, c- coming in all the way to 2022 as well guys for an investment perspective right so on the three time frame your 21 simple is certainly certainly extremely bullishly uh, um, uh, angled inclined towards the upside so as far as you're not looking at any curvature formulating on this moving average right here there is not going be any top on the macro at least right but this single leg up move yet again with fed this has been a crazy fucking wild ride but as far as you're hovering above sorry my bad as far as you're hovering over the 1.600 extension you're fine guys now fed got rejected right here fed could certainly get reaccumulated in those areas but seller did break past through 1.618 guys and as soon as it did that it head all the way towards 2.618 extension at 10 cents guys so well this is one of the trades i constantly keep on talking about the trade between 1.618 and 2.618 in a blue sky breakout environment your ultimate targets for seller is somewhere going to be around the 10.764 coming in all the way at 40 cents from these price points it's certainly a good 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 piece of price action. if it comes into fruition in the long run right could be 500% move to the upside with bitcoin doing things in the market in the coming days guys let me just take this fibonacci area of interest and consider this accumulation range now right then we could be having some different areas of interest as well in the short time frame now guys you can see it got rejected from the 7.618 the previous candle the previous three day closure got rejected from this price point which means that it could be certainly circling around these price points right something like this consolidation could happen now if market starts to get really bearish if bitcoin is breaking below 50k if bitcoin is wanting to go and test the 21 simple moving average guys this will at least come down and test the 21 simple moving average as well on the 3 day schedule guys the half weekly schedule three seller against usdt uh, which is which could be aligning with the 3.414 uh, uh, extension guys you can have these moving uh, sorry you can have these fibonacci extensions up your chart you can go ahead and uh, most of them are or this is a fucking brush wait most of them are already up there like uh, they're listed already right you just have to enable them <laughs> you just have to enable them and these will show your projections to the upside right and it will kind of help you with the support resistance analysis as well if we talk about some well if we talk about some support resistance guys there is not much support as this one is a blue sky breakout so if bitcoin is doing things to the downside do expect this one to test the prior all time highs right that's going to be aligning with the three cent region guys this is going to be a 50% devastating down move from these price points and for these things to extrapolate so many other factors do have to play down in the market we have to take down this level as well first so guys i do expect if seller comes down if seller comes it's quite a weird name to talk about actually if seller comes down to these price points in the first pass i do expect this one to get picked up and at least as the 761 extension again then you can attempt for some uh, further downside move all the way towards these price points guys and let's just jump on to the daily time frame and see what is cooking up there what is cooking up there uh, the price action is <laughs> guys this is not a top this is not even formulating a top can we determine this with some rsi divergence yeah you do have some divergence formulating to be honest with you yes you do have divergence and guys the volatility is still under expansion mode so well this means that seller is certainly volatile guys be very careful with this one if you are trading at this if you're trading this asset in the short time frame like the 4 hour time frame this is going to be very very volatile as the 4 hour is also under expansion guys so well if you talk about this volatility right well door just shut itself if you talk about this volatile movement right here it just happened in one single day and you had a 30% down move guys that's why it got picked up right here at 65 aligning with the interim the extreme small time frame bottom happening on bitcoin around the 53k zones so it got picked up but that means does that mean it's going to reverse its trend 
Probably. Because do we have any hidden divergence? You could be formulating some kind of hidden bullish divergence between this point and this point right here. As the RSI is below this point right here, but the prices are above this price. And it could be aligning with this area of support confluence as well. So seller is completely fine until you are holding these levels, the seven cents level. If you if you start closing four hour candles, if you start opening and closing some four hour candles below the seven cents region, seller could come back and retest these price points at 4.5 cents. And if you do break this one out you do not have much support all the way until the previous all-time high right so seller things with seller are looking pretty clear as well guys this is certainly in a bull trend uh, i do expect anything to come down back all the way at the 200 simple moving average on the four hour time frame on the first go will be an opportunity right judging by the bounce you can go ahead with the swing position or some investment positions as well on seller guys let's jump on to seller against btc yes. <laughs> Seller against BTC, guys. Seller against Bitcoin right here for you is doing some kind of bubblish, bubblish price. Right so, well, it did break out. It did went above the August highs, guys. Something which Fetch is struggling with, right? So, these are the things that you can just kind of in, uh, have a little mental interplay between, guys. The Fed, the price action of Fed.ai is currently around these areas. It's hovering around these price points. Let me jump onto the higher time frames as this one. Guys, it's a, it's a pretty clear structure. And if you compare this one with Fed, you're somewhere here on Fed, right? If you do break above this price point on a three-day closing uh, on a three-day closing basis, then you can talk about some further continuation move to the upside. As this one is looking like this really wants to continue, guys. The BTC pair on seller really wants to continue to the upside. And 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 seller is one of the Polkadot ecosystem coins. Wow, it's pretty interesting. I just got to know this yesterday, to be honest with you. And this comes in a Polkadot uh, ecosystem as well. Seller. Well, interesting things happening for seller as well. Um, a lot of good names behind seller, guys. A lot of good names behind all of the these IEO coins to be honest with you so they are good good quality projects to be honest right so it comes down back below I guess it's going to be a major opportunity although this is going to be more than a 30% drawdown move uh, sorry 16% drawdown move right here testing with this high right here if you start losing out on this level on three day closing or even on a daily closing basis you lose holds of 110 satoshis then you can look at some potential uh, downside as well and then you can talk about some bearish retracement targets coming in all the way at the 382 first well the first one is aligning with the support right here so you can certainly come back and test the 382 get picked up and attempt another move towards the upside but if you do lose grounds on this level it'll come here guys it'll come here now guys you are traders you always got to remember that you are traders right this has it it can go up it can go down but you can certainly go ahead and make money with this for just just for example you can go ahead to binance you can go ahead um, at binance margin you can borrow some seller sell seller into btc and buy back right here right or buy back right here as well so what will happen um, uh, ultimately you will have 44 percent more seller in your account more purchasing power um, in terms of uh, your seller holdings in your account if you go for some margin short positions on this one guys margin positions are certainly one of your key uh, key financial instruments of potentially uh, uh, good uh, of put uh, well let me just rephrase this sentence margin margin trading is one of your did i just zone out right here well it looks like i'm quite zoning out guys i did not have much sleep well all right margin trading can certainly uh, improve your financial results right you can certainly you, you can certainly go ahead and go for that margin trading in terms of shorting the markets and longing the market as well if you know how to play these things carefully right if you do if you do and if you do capitalize on these moves you can certainly multifold your gains to the downside or the upside right how do how, how do you how do you really want to go ahead with the risk management exposure guys it's going to be a very very long discussion and i'm going to talk and i'm going to be making a dedicated video on how to manage your risks properly like precisely onto these crazy crypto markets guys this it well to be honest with you it's really difficult it's really fucking difficult to maintain to manage your risks if something starts going down but it's not impossible guys not really impossible right seller against btc on the four hour time frame on the daily time frame it's looking fine as of now as it is just aligning with the 21 simple moving average right here in the first go i do expect this one to get picked up and at least test these highs at 155 satoshis if you're if you're intraday trading this one you can certainly look for some targets at 155 satoshis guys as if you're not closing any candle below 126 you'll just, you'll just simply float towards the upside like that it's just <laughs> nasty buyers nasty buyers looking at sniping at some points of 
entrance guys and picking up these assets at cheap prices as bitcoin dominance is quite losing hold of its grounds um we closed another weekly candle below 21 simple on the dominance guys that means that altcoins are certainly going to continue their party towards the upside so as i was talking about guys i'm rambling a lot in this video seems like right so i so this is quite aligning i, I can just simply extend this box right here but that would define this range as a very very big range guys now on satoshi pairs these range are certainly certainly big right if you are holding above this price point right here and both of these moving averages you're completely fine on seller you could be testing the zero point as well on this entire retracement well this is not a retracement this was for a bearish retracement well let me just draw some um draw some areas of interest back again right all right so if you are as far as you're above the wonder one extension let me just line with this <laughs> align this one right here you're completely fine you're completely fine you could get reaccumulated right here and then you can attempt some further move to the upside all the way towards the 2618 as well not much to talk about on seller here on btc pair uh let's jump on to our next candidate guys the next one for you is harmony now this has been an outlier this one has been an outperformer guys harmony doing exceptionally well against the btc pair as well guys from the covid dump right here it is up fifteen thousand percent kind of aligning with uh your theta network as well guys video on theta coming up pretty soon today as well uh well the price action on harmony on the first go is certainly certainly bullish guys this this just it's blindly bullish guys single leg move towards the upside crazy and let's just take the let's just take the price point targets from this entire accumulation range right here on some fibonacci areas of interest happening from this price point to this point uh from to this bottom low right here testing the 7618 guys a lot of them are aligning with the 7618 extension that means that the ieo coins could be getting to could be getting into some kind of reaccumulation to some kind of sideways chop at least for a while guys as far as you're breaking as, as far as you're hovering below these ranges on 768 guys your tender sense 764 extension the ultimate profit taking zone is going to take some time right it's going to take some time although it's not that much to the upside to be honest with you it's just 67 percent movie quite you you came quite far off guys so are you taking profits guys I, if i were long in harmony from these accumulation zones i would certainly consider taking profits right here i would certainly consider taking profit as the upside momentum is look the upside can be infinite right the upside can be infinite but guys this is what you're here for you're here as a long-term trader you should certainly keep on taking profits into your banks or maybe some of your accumulation stack as well guys in the long run harmony will certainly perform good if you compare it the usdt pair long run certainly gone it's certainly going to be good but if bitcoin loses grounds on 50k guys this is going to be a potentially good looking short position as well right good looking short position in terms of taking this entire price action uh, from the bottom to top right here you can take you can talk about this leg as well you can come down and reach the 600 extension guys now this one is opposite i'm going to do this i'm going to do a little flippy shit for you guys and that would line the six uh, three two extension right here at the 0.125 five regions guys now this is a 30 percent down move i guess from these price point right here the three two extension why am i getting these numbers wrong today i did not get i did not get sleep guys i did not get my sleep right you could be aligning with these price points on the first go harmony the area of interest for one even on the intraday time frames the smaller time frames should be aligning perfectly fine with the 382 extension guys this entire area of potential liquidity entering the harmony markets uh, the one usdt markets right this could be this could be your area of interest so if you have missed out on this up move the final leg up move wait for this consolidation to happen right here guys it could simply go on to the upside as a trend is started towards the upside guys a massive looking bull trend right here the rsi although rsi extremely tired guys but no divergence guys no divergence between this one and this point that means it could come down all the way go for a little momentum oscillator reset and then it could simply continue its move towards the upside guys could some continue its move towards the upside all the way towards the 1 or 6 minute extension on this single leg up right <laughs> well certainly price points on one is good against usdt one against btc guys let's check this one out as well as this is out before this has been an outlier on the btc pair as well guys this is massive looking price action so this is how the hierarchy is going on so far the fed btc price action is somewhere aligning with this area right here right the seller btc price action is aligning with this area right here whereas the harmony is aligning with the previous all time high guys this is just fucked up to the moon guys this went to the moon this is on a fucking logarithmic scale if i turn the log off well not much difference right here but certainly looking crazy certainly looking really crazy right 
Sir, you can damn it, damn amazing this one. <laughs> Not much difference to be honest with you between logarithmic and arithmetic scales. As these candles are truly spectacular, spectacular looking candles. From look, guys, this one is coming from literally twelve satoshis, twelve fucking satoshis, going all the way at three hundred thirty-three satoshis. This is a massive up leg against the BTC price action. Two thousand percent move against BTC price action, whereas Bitcoin does a thousand percent move in the market, guys. exponential return exponential return on the usd pair this one i guess yet another uh, yet another fact uh, yet another point leading on towards the fact that certainly if you have been long if you have been hodling one for a very long time guys it's kind of time to take some profits right maybe buy some gift for yourself maybe buy something uh, uh, maybe buy something which is not materialistic i guess i mean just so to say you guys you, you have to enjoy your profits as well guys and also it is going to be healthier for you in the long haul if you are here in the long haul as a trader guys just just understand this taking profits is going to be helping you out in a lot of ways guys all right on the small time frames this is looking like more and more of a consolidation getting rejected from the uh, from the 3 3 satoshi regions having this candle right here a pin bar a bearish pin bar from the top is certainly meaning that well the easier move coming in at the 21 simple of the 4 hour time frame is over right here but if you do hold uh, lose hold of these grounds you're going to be coming back at 2 and satoshi level along with the 55 simple moving average right Guys, let me let me do some Fibonacci analysis. All right, you can talk about one more thing. Let's talk about some fractals, 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 right? As this is grind breakout, yet another grind breakout. Guys, could we be grinding again? Could be. We could be grinding again, but this grind could constantly bleed towards the downside if. Well, if there are more sellers in the market than buyers for this asset, right? Right. But this trend has been pretty much gift, guys. This 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 is a pretty much gift, guys. Every single time you break the grind, you just pump towards the upside and in, in in some crazy in some crazy price action, guys. The first one coming in at thirty six percent, second one coming in at um, well sixty percent, and the previous one uh, before than that coming in at. A f- 60% up move guys this one has been a gift guys this trading this asset has been a nice opportunity i guess right three day time frame just to conclude my um, my conclude my conclusions just to conclude the price action right here the daily looks like it wants to really consolidate and if you're closing daily candles below this price point on uh, harmony uh, basically if you're closing daily candles below uh, 310 satoshis uh, you want to be consolidating for a long amount of time right not not really a lot you you can't really put a time into anything but you could be very well consolidating below these ranges and you could get into a long form of accumulation reaccumulation before you want to explode back to the upside right guys this price action is certainly going to be aligning with the bitcoin dominance chart as well if bitcoin is losing grounds on the dominance for good these things are going to keep on partying guys and the major chunk of altcoin uh, alt season is there to come guys it's there to come it's there to come a lot of things have to happen right so you can st- if you're long if you're long on one you can start managing your short term risks below this price point guys although this range is very big the previous low was this guys was literally this right here right you're quite above this low right here as of now as well 55% above this one that is why when the prices are quite significantly higher than the invalidation zones that's when you start looking at some uh, severe profit taking happening in the market right you you that, that that is when these things would happen guys because the risk reward evaluations they try to fi- um, they, they they flip around pretty much for most of the people trading the market for most of the hodlers as well who have been riding this wave for i don't know how much amount of exponential returns on their investments right All right, so uh, you could argue about the fact that the intraday risk management areas could be aligning pretty much perfectly with the twenty-one simple moving average right here. So you start running below this one right here, that that could mean that it'll come back and test these part, uh, these price points right here. Do we have any divergence on the RSI? uh not really not really not, not not the kind of divergence that you want to be looking at for some uh, reversal action interplay. Although although you could be formulating some hidden bullish divergence, right? Yes, you are formulating a hidden bullish divergence between this low and this low. If this one stays, if this one holds, if the two fifty satoshi levels on harmony holds, this could be another low, which is significantly higher than this one. And then we can further target all. The, we can target moves all the way towards four hundred satoshi level, guys. This is going to be pretty much a psychological profit taking asset, as this could get into a discovery mode, like a price discovery mode, pretty soon, guys. The all time high in which it got 
out in the market was around 400 so yeah it's well the 400 satoshi is lining perfectly with the listing prices on the bitcoin pair so if you break above this if you set this one as a low right here with the 21 simple moving average harmony against btc could simply head on towards the 400 satoshi so if you're trading this one intraday and medium time frames and short term time frames as well guys just just take a note of these levels right going to helping you out in a lot of ways right the next one we have is dusk dusk now one of the laggards um, as as the price action looks like it's not done quite a lot uh, in comparison to harmony and fetch as well but what's the harm in taking a look at some kind of uh, some kind of fibonacci magical interest like how about that how about that where is it right now it's not even at the wonder one extension at the listing guys let's just simply ignore the listing i guess i mean this is this is quite irrelevant right here i'll just go on to this area right here right uh first retracement after the listing um one or one extension standing in at 0.27 right so you uh, if you if you negate this one right here you've broken above the uh, ranges and this is pretty much in a price discovery behavior as well currently rejecting the 618 extension the ultimate profit taking interest in the mid time swing trade right in the mid term swing trade so as far as you left the 618 you ran towards the 1.618 pretty neat looking trade right here 135 140% move to the upside good looking trade has already oh my I'm sorry, guys. Just okay. All right. The good-looking trade, the easier-looking trade, has already happened. Looks to me like on dusk against USDT, and it could be yet yet another. It could be, guys. I have picked these coins right at their consolidation times. I guess this is pretty much a warning video for you guys, right? Pretty much a warning video for all the hodlers, all the traders who are trading dusk BTC, guys. You do not, you can't be one-sided, guys. If you are blind-sided in crypto market, if you are blindly bullish in these crypto markets, guys, you'll you'll be punished, man. You'll be punished. Trust me, you will be punished, and you. do not want to learn these things the hard way guys financial injury is the worst guys financial injury is the worst right you can get it or you can take care of emotional injuries you can take care of physical injuries as well to be honest with you well as well as you're not dying but financial injury is certainly 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 bad. specifically if you're putting entire chunk of your savings into these assets guys it's it's it's, it's, it's going to be madness so don't do that either guys don't do that just play around with these assets with your play money right that's it that's it if you're trading them but if you're investing in them you're completely fine if you're staying above the one around extension um coming in the first wave after the ieo dump Uh, at the 25 cents guys you're holding 25 cents on dusk you're completely fine look for reaccumulation happening on these zones and look for this particular moving average to uh, catch up quite significantly as well the 21 simple moving average on 3 day time frame this will be aligning with the 1.1 extension pretty soon if we maintain these levels right if we maintain these levels but as far as uh, as far as the price action goes um, right now this looks to me like a pretty clear rejection the 1.618 if we clear this level right right here even in a daily closing basis guys you could be extended all the way towards the 22.618 extension which could be a good looking trade for you as well right 50 60% move to the upside certainly a good looking trade in the in, in in kind of like a swing trade kind of thing right Whew, the four hour time frame looking quite choppy on this one this is this is quite involved quite a volatile asset guys so okay all right so here's the thing right here's the thing i mean the hv the historical volatility is completely suppressed right here guys now you do come out of these completely suppressed historical volatilities around these areas like this so it's probably getting into a reaccumulation guys i mean all right if the volatility expands from this price point and the price picks up a direction it's going to last the direction is going to last right the direction is going to last. it could be to the upside or to the downside if it starts picking up to the upside and the volatility starts expanding towards the upside as well then you could have a prolonged up move right prolonged up move so guys let's talk about some risk management so risk management right here for dusk the first point i see here is a line pretty much with the 200 simple on the 4 hour time frame right here with the 27 um, uh, 27 cents region guys is it, is it the one yeah it's pretty much aligning with the 1.1 extension so this is your risk management area guys this is this is your key risk management zone if you lose ground on this price point right here you can be tanking down all the way at the <laughs> at the 600 extension at the 17 cents zone guys well bad news for all the people who are 
trading or hodling dusk guys i guess well this video is if you're already hodling dusk from these price points you're completely fine on these levels although although caution right caution you do want to take profits on this asset as well as this one has done a single leg up move for about a thousand per guys 10x in one single leg in one single leg to the upside what stops you from trade uh, from uh, from taking some profits i don't understand i don't understand well watch for this one to hold watch for some price action uh, some some choppy behavior until we come back to these price points and then we can talk about some further uh, upside targets i'll be taking a look at dusk fetch and harmony and seller pretty soon guys pretty soon but until then you um, I'm, i'm i'm sure you guys are pretty much clear with the levels as you don't have to do the hard work as all the hard work is done here right here at crypto together guys go ahead and hit that subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit that like if this analysis is helping you and if this is helping you become a level headed trader guys i mean look if you're trading these markets quite actively you have to be cool as a cucumber you have to be level headed as fuck right don't you can't be a moon boy or a doom boy you you just can't be a moon boy or doom boy if you go ahead with that attitude guys you you probably going to get wrecked if not today tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> so be level headed be level headed is it aligning with any kind of diagonal trending support line as well well the current price action you could argue that it is certainly aligning with the diagonal trend resistance right here are we rejecting this one <laughs> you close the candle below the support right here uh, but guys you can draw these lines in 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 so many different ways guys you can you can argue about this fact as well okay this makes more sense to me as this It rejected the price action below the 55 simple with a bearish engulfing candle so this looks to me like a structural rejection looks to me like it really wants to get into consolidation guys no fomo on dusk if you are looking at the price action for dusk every single day stop doing that stop doing that completely completely pointless until it takes out these levels as simple as that until it takes down 38 cents you do not have to check on dusk networks daily price action guys it's just as simple as that it's going to get in consolidation probably most likely come and retest these price point so what you can do is you can simply sit on the sidelines guys this is not a financial advice i'm going i'm never going to tell you what to do with your money but this is just an idea if you are constantly trending below the 55 simple on 4 hour time frame you could argue about the fact that you will be coming down even further um uh, for 16% down move aligning with the previous all time highs right here where if you sit on the sidelines basically if you sit on usd um, right now on these levels and if it successfully comes down you'll be picking up 16% more dusk token guys that's how you accumulate guys all the down trends in a bull market are for accumulation remember that basically what is happening is that the weak hands are selling their assets to strong hand guys in a bull trend these downturns will ultimately be like that it's going to be like that it's certainly going to be like that right watch for these two hold watch for just just watch for this level to hold guys it's quite aligning with a lot of things a lot of things. very significant level this one right here let me just do some vp vr analysis all you uh, vp vr for you guys as well i think i do have my vp vr already put down nope looks like i don't and every single time i put the vp vr for you guys i go through these settings every single time guys not 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 really a good workflow i have right here it looks like right <laughs> anyways all right uh, now we must be having some good visibility on the price volume structure mm okay all right quite interesting piece of volume structure right here well this looks like you can stretch this box out to this level right here until the price comes here you could argue that the moving average will also catch up with this area right here right and this is your volume node on dusk against usdt this is your volume node right here the 30 cent level is your volume node expect the prices to come down here and get picked up in the short time frame but if you're losing grounds on 28 cents guys there is not much stopping uh, there's not much stopping until 24 or 8 cents guys it'll, it'll simply it's it, it It's a volume vortex right here in front of you guys. There's a vortex right here. There's simply no volume here, so you can just simply slip to the downside. And if you get picked up from these price points, you can get back again onto this volume node. So, what could you be looking at? If you have some catastrophic down move, I do expect some wicks happening on these levels right here. So you can go ahead and you can demarcate these levels for yourself as well. It's going to help you out a lot, guys. Dusk against BTC. As this one is a pretty comprehensive analysis, guys. I'm taking a look at them in in. depth like completely completely in depth analysis for you guys all right 
this volume vortex is aligning with the 521 satoshi level the 517 satoshi levels right here uh, as well and if you lose out on 600 satoshis there is not much stopping you uh, from coming back and testing the 500 satoshi levels all the way back again so guys dusk against btc dusk against usd they both could be looking for a retest of the 4 r 200 simple moving average now this one is well quite the guys same right same same kind of um, price ranges for dusk btc dusk usd so this is going to be one of the <laughs> all right this is really choppy to be honest with you but the btc and the usd pair for dusk is aligning with some key levels of significance in a pretty 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 same range to be honest with you this range being a 16 percent range guys well to the upside 18 percent but to the downside it's certainly 16 percent now this is how math works <laughs> in terms of shorting and longing the market guys this is how it goes like right this is how it goes like all right guys let me know down in the comments if you find this analysis helpful let me know down in the comments what do you want to see next as well guys and hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel we talk about level-headed stuff all the time all the time we're not going to talk we're never going to be talking about some moon boy or some doom boy shit we take things step by step level by level so that so that it's going to be better for you as a long-term trader right as a long-term trader remember we are focusing to build ourselves as trader in the long haul we are not in the market for these immediate short time frames chops to the upside of the downside guys i thought all right i thought i would just ramble on for the last time for this video and guys i'm going to catch you guys on the next video pretty soon bye for now